This is my wife, Maureen O'Rourke. My name is Tom O'Rourke. We've lived in Florida about 35 years and we love it. We've got a lot of kids, uh, 10 actually, and uh, most of them are spread around the country, but there's uh, a good number of them here in Florida. And uh, we have 16 grandchildren and hoping for more. And I, I look at Obama like he's gonna help this country. He's gonna end this war. We're gonna have a medical plan. This is gonna affect my children and my grandchildren and their, their time is coming our children's time, our grandchildren, and I want things to be at least as good, if not better, for them. With hard work, jobs to be had, you know, help for the middle class, because that's the class that's suffering, and it's suffering terribly. It's the class that built this country. My name for about 82 years has been Sam Oser, Born in the Bronx, I've been down here in Florida for about 14 years. I'm an ex-Marine. I try to tell people it's my son, but this goes back to 1944, Paris Island. This American flag, which I have saluted since I went to kindergarten and before, till this very day, until the day I die, I've saluted and it's my flag. But I look at it and I think at this point with a great deal of hurt that I'm saluting a flag that's at half mast. I want it to be on the top of the pole and you can bet I'm going to vote Democratic. I was backing Hillary. But you, you have to, I've been around too long. You don't stand after the choice and stand up and say, oh no, I, I like someone else. This is ludicrous. I, I can't believe some people who are my age, I'm 81. And we've been, I, my first vote was for Truman. You, I, the Democrats have to get in because I'm worried about my kids. My grandchildren will be paying off the debt from, from the Bush administration when they'll be grandparents. Everyone over 18 better go out to vote and vote for Barack Obama. And I tell people here, this community, everybody in the community, everybody in the city, and everybody in the state, and that's the way we'll do it because our lives depend on it and we can't depend on another state carrying it. We are responsible here, or we have nothing to do to say about our future. My name is Norman Landsman. We've been living in Florida for the last 14 years. My name is Sylvia Landisman. Uh, I'm living in uh, Rainberry Bay 14 years. like it very much. And, uh... We're Flo Floridians now. I was 88 years old in February. I will be 88 years old in, Ju in July. We, were, we are married 64 years. In May. Well, what scares me is things in 2000 looked so promising with a big surplus and where the United States was respected all over the world. And now we do not have a good reputation. Of course, the, the economy is being ruined by the war, and I think McCain would just continue it. The people are dying, and you don't even know how many are being wounded and dying. The, the health care they're getting is very inadequate, and we have to get out of Iraq. That's all there is to it. You have to vote the Democratic ticket, because otherwise, you're putting the entire country in jeopardy. I'm urging seniors to support Obama. I urge everyone to vote Democratic or else we'll be in deep trouble. My name is Sam Lender. I've been living in Florida since uh, 1990, former New York City resident. 
we go up to New York in the summers, but basically we stay here. Well, when this campaign first began, I really wasn't sure who I was going to support. But I think Obama, the thing that makes me most willing to support him is because of the young people who've come in and they're not tied to the lobbyists, that he has been able to raise the money and get all these people enthusiastic without being as tied to the lobbyists. I don't care how much uh, McCain may say about being a maverick and different and he follows his own path, he really doesn't and he really can't if they're going to be the ones financing him. On eight different occasions, there was a vote to increase the minimum wage. He always voted no. The so-called maverick is only on the side of business. And this is our concern. Uh, a vote for McCain would be continuance of the Bush administration, which the American people do not want. Well, my name is Mary Irving, and I have been living in Florida since 1959. That's my guide dog, and her name is Largo, L-A-R-G-O, as in Key Largo. I have six grandchildren, they're all of voting age, and I think it is extremely important for the Democratic Party to involve young voters in taking part in politics, in voting. I don't think we can think exclusively in terms of being senior citizens, because senior citizens won't live forever. We have to think of the next generation. And Obama is going to promote new industries, all the industries that are related to new forms of energy, which is, which then these industries are going to create a lot of new jobs. And in order to get these new jobs, we also have to have more and better education. And I think we have a much better chance of getting that under the leadership of Obama than we do of a man like McCain. I'm urging uh, senior citizens in, the, in Florida to vote for Obama because he's the candidate of the Democratic Party and we cannot afford four more years of a Bush type of administration.